Hello, Kids Zone. How's everyone doing? Me? I'm good. I'm excited. I am happy. I'm happy to be alive. So that I can do this. And do this. And do this. So that I can do what God has planned for me to do. Because I'm God's masterpiece. I'm happy to be alive so that I could live for Christ. I could spread the good news. And so that I could love Him with all my heart. And everyone around me. Everyone. Today we're going to look at the story that will encourage us to take a stand in the name of Jesus. So we could live life for Christ. Stand up for Jesus. This is based on Acts chapter 3 and 4. One afternoon when Peter and John go to the temple for prayer, they meet a lame man begging at the gate called Beautiful. Have mercy, give something for the poor, the crippled man said. Look at us, Peter said. And the lame man was thinking, it looks like both of them might give me some money. I have no money, Peter said. But I'll give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up and walk. Walk? This man has never taken a step in his life. But as Peter reaches out his hand to him, the man reaches back. I can walk! Praise God! I can walk! In his excitement, the man rushes into the temple, leaping and shouting for joy. Look, isn't that the man who was at the gate begging? Gratefully, the man turns to Peter and John. The crowd presses in, anxious to know what happened. And then Peter said, Why do you stare at us as if we made this man walk? The miracle came from God through the power of his son, Jesus. You killed him, but God raised him from the dead. Seeing that he was the attention of the crowd, Peter continues, Repent and turn to God so your sins may be wiped out. Prepare yourselves for Jesus will come again. Repent and turn to God. Last week, we talked about how sin can take over our lives. It's like a blindfold to our eyes. It keeps us from seeing the love of Jesus. It keeps us from doing our purpose in life. But we all know what Jesus did at the cross. He rescued all of us because He loves us. Now, if we open our hearts and repent and turn to God, our sins will be wiped away. The blindfold will be gone. And we can fully see and experience the love of Jesus. So maybe today you see yourself as the crippled man, the lame man in the story. You think you're not capable of what God wants you to do. Maybe you're scared to live like a Christian because some kids might make fun of you. It's hard, but we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, who gives us the spirit to fight over our insecurities and our problems. Let us open our hearts and repent and turn to God so that like the crippled man, we can stand up and start praising and glorifying God as we live our lives. Our verse for today is Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let us hold on to that and believe that we can do the good things that God has planned for us to do. Let us close in prayer. Lord God, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for the lives of everyone, Jesus. Keep us safe, keep us healthy, and we're so grateful for your love. Thank you, Lord, for the rescue. Thank you, Lord, that we can do great things through you, Jesus. So we just want to open our hearts to you right now and repent and turn to you, Lord God. We don't want to go back where we are blinded by sin, but we want to take off that blindfold and repent and surrender so that we can be used by you, Jesus, so that we can do great things for you, Jesus. We love you so much. Keep us healthy and safe. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you, Kid Zone. I'll see you next week. Take care and God bless.